We good? Good angle? That's my name. Hey folks, Sam here at Monkey Boys Workshop and in today's video we're going to be building this round oak coffee table with inverted legs that we have named Amelia. This is one of our most popular collection pieces over on Fox and Monkey, which, if you didn't know, is the furniture business that my wife and I run together. Now stay tuned until the end of the video to find out why we named it Amelia, as there is a little bit of a story. Can't wink. <laughs>
clamps and I'm telling you, that masking tape trick, it's not gonna focus, it's keep focusing on me. I've not sanded any of this yet, I've just taken the masking tape off. I'm telling you, it's so good. If you're gonna do your glue up and it has internal corners, masking tape, I tell ya. Right, I can't tell you how many times I've actually built this coffee table and I've done the assembly for the legs in so many different ways. And I've just found doing the half laps first works best because then you want to do the roundovers on all your leg parts. But passing for the upright bits on the side but all the way around on the half lap joints for the base and the support piece on the top which is the underside part of the under bit. You'll get it, hopefully you'll get it. And then you can kind of sort those other internal bits out with a little bit of hand sanding. You want to do as little sanding on a project as possible. If you do all the sanding once it's all together in trying to get in all those nooks and crannies, you'll be there forever. So that's the way I'm gonna do it. I don't know if that made any sense, but watch along and maybe it will make more sense. Okay, yes. <laughs>
you have it. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and for those of you with a beady eye, I'm sure you noticed I was building something else alongside this. An Amelia side table, which is obviously the same design concept as the coffee table, but in a smaller, taller form. We've had a client order both of these as they look rather dashing together, we feel. Now, they are built the exact same way, except for the top is just one thick top, so it doesn't have those extra little bits to make it look thicker, because it already is one thick top. So, we like to name our pieces, if you hadn't guessed, as A, we like to give our pieces a bit of personality and identity, and B, it avoids clients having to explain which piece it is they want or they like the look of. You know that round table that you make, you know, it's quite short, but then it's quite tall, and then it's wide, but then it's quite skinny, you know the one? Dark, but sometimes light. We named this Amelia, firstly, because I fancy Amelia Clark, and my wife agrees. And we love Game of Thrones. Let's not talk about the ending. We like to name the pieces after strong characters from movies or books, or simply the meaning behind the name itself, matching perfectly with the furniture design, such as Neo from The Matrix, Nox, Harry Potter spell, which I'm actually going to be building in Walnut soon, so stay tuned for that video. And then we have our EV bedside tables and Arwen, our TV cabinet. We have lots of collection pieces on our website and I'll definitely be filming some of those builds, so stay tuned for those upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and if you got this far, one, well done, and two, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up, a comment, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll never miss a video. Now, on to the next build. I am actually starting on a build straight after filming this, so see you later, folks. Gotta press the, the, the stop button. <laughs>